Taylor's Book Method. What is it and why use it? George Taylor was a grain trader and he studied the grain markets back in the 1950s. And his method tries to determine where to buy and where to sell and when to buy and when to sell. Taylor's method was not based on day trading. It was based on swing trading. And so he would determine areas of support and resistance within major swings. And so he measured these major swings and I'm going to show them to you and you can see them quite clearly when we look on any chart. This is the S&P chart, a daily chart throughout all of 2022. And we can see the major swings here and, we can, and I've drawn a line to represent the major uh, resistance throughout 2022. And here my cursor is right at the beginning of January 2022. And right here is the end of 2022. And we can see the swings within. And I've put my, I've drawn this line just to illustrate where resistance was. And we can see where the swings were limited by resistance, but we can see the, the major swings, but there were also minor swings within the major swings. And so Taylor looked to find where to buy and where to sell within these swing areas. Is that true for just the S&P market? Not at all. Taylor, Taylor's numbers are mathematical representations and they work for, for just about any market, any stock market, any commodities market, any individual stock and over any time frame. Okay, so you don't have to be a swing trader. It'll work for day traders as well. So let me explain to you why that's so. Taylor's book, The Taylor Trading Technique, is probably the most difficult book to read in, the, in any trading book that you'll ever find. It's nearly impossible to understand. So what is he really talking about? I wanted to begin this video by showing you the visual representation of what Taylor is talking about. He's talking about measuring these swings and where to buy, where to sell, support and resistance, the, the trading zone, the zone between the two of them, and the direction that the market will go. So as traders, we want to know where to buy and where to sell. And nobody can tell you that. You can get up at four in the morning and listen to the talking heads. I use my crystal ball. You might have one. I use my crystal ball here. Tells me absolutely nothing, but it's pretty. It's a pretty a paperweight. But if you are a trader, you need to know the important areas of support and resistance. And so in doing that, this is the kind of information that you get. Now, most traders fail. I'm sorry to say it, and you know it's true, but most traders fail. And the reason why is because their crystal ball tells them exactly what mine does. It tells them absolutely nothing. And neither do the talking heads on TV because Trading involves, or short-term trading involves, knowing the future. And as Yogi Berra said, making predictions is difficult, especially about the future. So let's go on to measuring or trying to determine what George Taylor's trading technique or book method is. George Taylor's method involves measuring the distances that prices move from highs to lows, from highs to highs, from lows to lows, and from lows to highs. And it does that over a series of days, averages those numbers, and comes up with two major numbers, a major support number, a major resistance number. And let me show you how to use that, uh, and your trading will improve measurably, because Taylor's method tries to take the guesswork out and tries to give you these areas of support and resistance, where to buy, where to sell, which direction the market is likely to move. Here's a one day chart of the S&P and these are three minute candles. There are four points between each horizontal line, just to give you a framework. If you look at the daily chart or the annual chart, don't they look the same? I mean, if you didn't know up here and when you, when you read your chart, you know, of course, the um, the uh, indicator, the stock or commodity or futures that you're trading, and you know the time frame that you're trading. And if you didn't have this information, every chart looks exactly the same. And so because of that, Taylor's method applies to every chart on every time frame on just about anything you could trade. Because every chart looks the same and every chart is made up of highs, lows, 
and movements from lows to lows, lows to highs, highs to highs, and highs to lows. So uh, I hope that isn't too confusing, but nevertheless, I just want to show you and tell you why Taylor's book method is important and why you can use it to trade virtually anything. So now let me explain to you very simply how you can use Taylor in your own trading to improve your trading. And yes, you can use it. I use it for the S&P e-mini market. I only trade e-minis. Uh, but you can use it for anything that you choose to trade. The problem is, how do you calculate the numbers for the markets that you want to trade or the stock that you want to trade? Well, you can try to determine it using the uh, reading Taylor's book, which is, friends, it's almost impossible to figure out Taylor's book. It's very difficult to understand. You have to read it multiple times and you really have to concentrate on it. Uh, and even then, he doesn't give his formulas. Taylor comes down to two numbers, support number at the bottom, a resistance number at the top. That's it, two numbers, support and resistance. And so is Taylor, so how do you use the Taylor number? Well, first of all, you calculate the Taylor numbers and I put them on my chart as a rectangle each day. And I begin my rectangle at 9.30 in the morning and I draw it out to 4 p.m. And so each day before the market opens, I have this rectangle drawn out because the Taylor numbers are calculated the night before using the closing prices of the previous day, averaged in to several other previous day's prices. And I'm going to show you the numbers in a minute. And so in using Taylor, where the market opens and where the market goes is what Taylor is going to show you. And how valuable is that information? If we have a likely area of where the market should go based on the Taylor calculations of previous market movement, we should have a pretty good idea that our prices are going to go where the Taylor numbers tell us they're going to go. And for example, here on March, on March 30th, the prices opened up right over at 4084, just a, a few points shy of the Taylor resistance and traded up to the resistance. And notice they just hit resistance. They kissed it uh, at just about 10 a.m., went down, went back up, didn't quite take out the 10 a.m. high. So this was, this became the intraday high. You need to know how to use the Taylor numbers in conjunction with the intraday high and low. But where did the market go? The market went to within three points of where Taylor forecast they would go. Then they, went, then they went up and went somewhere else. But the fact is, the market traversed virtually the entire Taylor trading range throughout the day. The Taylor book method, again, it's a series of calculations. I've shown you what these numbers look like visually. They're simply the major swings in the market. And... Here are my Taylor numbers. Here's my Taylor calculations. Only four numbers need to be entered into the calculator. On the left column, I have the dates. And these are dates that I have to keep or that have to be kept consecutively. So every day I add to the dates. And these are only weekdays. And if there's a holiday where the market doesn't trade, I delete that row because I, we need to keep these numbers consecutive. And then I enter four numbers at the end of each trading session, okay? And I, again, I do this for the S&P uh, e-mini market. You can do it for anything you want to trade. And there are four numbers that re that's required to maintain this, this calculator. The, uh, the days open, the high, the low, and close. And here I have the columns marked, the open, high, low, and close, okay? Now... All I need to do is to drag these numbers over for each section, and there are three sections. One section gives me the sell envelope or the resistance number, and there are a number of calculations that go into it, and the final average is highlighted in yellow. And similarly, the buy envelope and the support number, major support, is again highlighted in yellow in the second section. The third section is the projection of the day's range, the day's trading range telling me where the prices might trade within the range of the day from high to low. And so this calculator, it, to me, it's invaluable because it tells me what my crystal ball can tell me and neither can the talking heads in the morning. So it quantifies market movement and I can be able to get a picture 
of where the market is likely to trade based on Taylor. It doesn't mean it's going to trade. Now, tr now Taylor, again, was a swing trader. And today, the market is, is a lot different. We have electronic trading, didn't have that back then. And there are reports that skew the market, skew prices. That sets averages off. But remember, these are averages of averages. And because they're averages, what happens? What is an average? An average is something that always comes back. It always comes back. That's an average. And so Taylor numbers, prices might depart from it for a short time, but they will always come back. Taylor will always recalculate to take in the aberration and give you the fresh numbers going forward to show you where the market is likely to trade. Okay, so how do you use Taylor for your market and your trading? I've developed this and I make it available to you and you can purchase it and use it for any market you want to trade. And you can use it for multiple markets. You don't have to use it for just one market. On my website at Timeless Dollar, uh, I've made this calculator available. It's right here. You go to my website, TimelessDollar.com and the Taylor Trading Technique Calculator. Here's the link or this one at the bottom of the home page. You click the link and it will take you to the page where it explains how Taylor's calculator works and how to use it. So if you want to purchase this calculator, as you saw, it's an Excel spreadsheet, but it's an Excel spreadsheet within a Windows program. So you can download this program to your computer and create any number of files, one file for every market you want to trade. You want to trade the NQ, you want to trade the ES, you want to trade a stock, you want to trade another commodity. You can set up multiple files. You can output multiple files using this calculator. And the only thing that you need to do, let me show you, is in order to trade, now I have this set up for the S&P. I have the open, high, low, close for each day of the E-mini. And these are averages of averages. And all you have to do when you purchase this calculator is to put in seven days of seven consecutive days of open, high, low, close in whatever market you're trading. And then the averages will recalculate and you'll begin to get the daily output so that you can trade your market. Not only is this calculator good for any market, but if you're not sure, try it out. When you purchase it, if you feel it's not for you, and I don't believe that you'll do that, but just ask for your money back and within two weeks, you get a full refund and we're still friends. Okay, so that's the Taylor book method. That's how it works. That's what it is. That's how to calculate it. And now you can put the Taylor book method to work for you to improve your trading. Thanks so much for watching. Trade safely. I'm Mar Rising from Timeless Dollar Trading Academy. I hope you take advantage of this opportunity and I know it will improve your trading results.